please welcome Mistress of the Dark, Elvira. Thanks, so do you. You can sing, girl. Oh, thank you. I mean, I heard your records before, but you can really sing. Oh, you're a sweetheart. Oh, wow. Now, listen, uh, my assistant told me that you asked her for some aspirin uh, backstage. Know. How's your head? Haven't had any complaints yet. Okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Was that a setup or what? Okay. Now, I want to show this real quick. You are the queen of merchandising. Can you guys get a picture of that? I love this T-shirt. That was hard to do. That is I hard bet. to do. I mean, try doing that. It's painful. I bet. I oh, bet. Talk about putting your head between. Well, <laughs> okay. You you have so many great <laughs> products here. Now, if you could be remembered by anything, what would it be? Just two simple words. Merchandising, merchandising. No. <laughs> yeah, it's just all my merchandise. You know, I hate the crass commercialization of Halloween, sure. of course. But I have a few new products out. I write. My one show. You have these books here, which are really fabulous. Now, do you write these books yourself? Yes, I do. I know it's hard for people to believe that I actually read, let alone write, but uh, <laughs> I, I actually did write these books. Uh, the first one is uh, uh, Transylvania 90210. Oh, that sounds cool. Yes, it's a very kind of heavy, sort of Anne Rice kind of novel. Uh-huh. <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> and uh, I am like a really good writer. Eat your heart out, Stephen King. <laughs> You've also got these, these, uh, these albums out on Rhino. That's the label I'm signed to. I sing, too. Oh, you do? Oh, yes. I'm well, fabulous. Well, I knew that. <laughs> Actually... Mm -hmm. Actually, I knew that because I love your movie. In the conclusion of your movie, oh, you, you sing a fabulous, you rap and sing. That's true. I'm the bitch in black, so you better know. Oh, well, we won't get into that. <laughs> I get so carried away. I'm sorry. Well, that's all right. Now, another thing. Now, you've got a website that's very, very, very popular. Tell me about yeah. it. Well, it's, it's going to be completely revamped, so I want everybody to check out my website very soon. Um, it's www.elvira.com. I made it easy for you guys to type with one hand, you know. <laughs> uh, never mind. Now, now I want to... Now, screw. speaking of, 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 of acting and, and the movie, in the end of the movie, I felt that you deserved an Academy Award. because at the, too. At the Academy, at the conclusion of the movie, you do this thing with your breast where you make, you have, do, uh, what are they, doilies on the end of them? Doilies? And, no, no, castles. They, yeah, not castles. Doilies. There you go. <laughs> doilies are on the end of a couch. Right, Rupa. you're not Dolly Madison, are you? No. No. Um, I don't think so. So, so and you, you make one go this way and one go that way in ro rotation. I guess you sort of can't do that right now, but... No, but, you know, some kids, you know, I started this, like, when I was very, very young. Some kids were, like, practicing the piano and uh, taking other lessons. <laughs> But I was practicing tassel twirling, and uh, I learned how to do it when I was 14. And I can actually make them go any direction that you, you could even imagine, okay? Wow. And, uh, can you know, make my... A, can... It's a... I wonder... I do have to have the tassel. You have to have the tassel. It's a chest thing. I don't know. I wonder after the show, maybe you can show me how to make my gym socks do that. Yeah. For a price. For a price. For a price. Okay. It just depends how smelly they are. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, that's what I use, actually. Now, <laughs> speaking of more merchandising, there's a 3D video that you have coming out? Yes. I'm, I'm, in September, I'm going to have the biggest breasts in the world. Wow. Uh, yeah, my breasts are going to be six feet tall and in 3D. I'm not six feet, hello, 60 feet tall. 60 feet tall in 3D. And uh, so I'm going to be in an IMAX movie, 3D. Oh, that, cool. Is that exciting or what? That is great. <laughs> Right. Can you just see these things coming at you? Oh, I love oh, it. Uh -huh. God, you're going to put somebody's right. eyes out with those oh, things. <laughs> hey, that sounds like familiar. That's very familiar. Okay. I stole that from you, actually. <laughs> Listen, uh, 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 I'm look, sitting here looking at your makeup and the whole look. How do you achieve that? Now, you, actually, I see you in this type of... Do you always wear the same outfit? Well, you know, first of all, I thought I wore a lot of makeup, but after I see you, I feel like a natural beauty. <laughs> <laughs> <Just kidding. laughs> no, no. No, I don't always wear the same dress. Sometimes I like to wear something low-cut and sexy. Oh. 
Elvira, I want to now. Let's. I want to get serious here for a minute. Um, I want to talk about the critics. Now, the critics always have an opinion of you and what you do. Um, what do you think of the critics' opinion of you? Well, I just um, kind of say, you know, if I want your advice, I'll beat it out of you. <laughs> And uh, pretty much, I really don't care. You know, they can say whatever they want. Just stay out of the way of the front of my car, okay? <laughs> what about all the uh, Elvira wannabes, like Buffy the Vampire Slayer or, uh, you know, or Cher? Or... Oh. <laughs> oh, grow up. Grow up. Oh, uh, well, you know, Cher wears my dress, but she wears it backwards. <laughs> Uh, no, I don't mind. I don't mind people looking like me. I mean, it's the sincerest form of uh, something. What do they call it? Sincerest form of flattery. That's right. 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 So, uh, but again, I tell them, like, uh, uh, you know, don't be in the same uh, town that I'm in after midnight, okay? I mean, because, <laughs> yeah. I don't mind. I don't mind. I mean, you can, uh, uh, you can copy me all you want, but there was only one true original. That's right. Elvira. <laughs> Mistress of the Dark. Yes. <laughs> Now, th now, you've been in Hollywood for a long time, and I'm sure the, the macabre, wow. you know everything about the macabre in Hollywood. What's the dark side of Hollywood? What could you tell mm, us about the, the dark side of Hollywood? Dark side of Hollywood? Mm, I don't know. There's, there's some, you know, great things to do here. I mean, for, for tourists, which I always recommend when they come here to see the dark side of Hollywood, like the Grave Line Tours, which are wonderful, right. all the Dead Stars houses. Yeah, that sounds cool. Um, I love to go to Musso Frank's on Hollywood Boulevard, Musso and Frank's yeah. restaurant, where the uh, waiters are so old they look dead they're not but uh it's really really great place to go and they have a great martini uh i hang out a lot at the hollywood uh, cemetery which is uh, the only place you can guarantee you're going to get within six feet of your favorite star and uh, you know i mean there, there's fun things to do in hollywood that are kind of on the dark side but uh, it's never boring i'll tell you that yeah good because me and michelle are looking for some really cool things to do well, we usually I, go to you want to do that we usually go to the gym and work out do you work out at all I must say I do. I mean, I like have to do 50,000 bust exercises every morning first thing I get up. <laughs> then I drink a little holy water and spin my head around a few times. <laughs> well, what, Go for the burn. Yeah. What is a what, what is a typical day in the life of Elvira? Oh, typical day. Let's see. First, I don't get up. <laughs> oh, that's the first part of my day. And, from there, it's all downhill. Oh, I know. Oh. Tell me about it. Hey, listen, guys, when we come back, we've got these gorgeous gals who are going to sing for us, the Dixie Chicks. So don't go anywhere, all right? All right. Yeah.